Hi friends, welcome back to our channel Total QA. In our channel, we recently uh, posted the three JMeter uh, tutorial uh, parts, mainly part one, part two, part three is completed. Today we're discussing about part four. As part of part four, so we're discussing about how are we going to add assertions in JMeter? How are we going to add assertions? Generally, we know assertions are mainly useful to validate your expected result against your actual result. So in the case of JMeter request, we got some response, right? So how are we going to validate the response by inserting assertions? For that reason, first, let's try to execute a request now. I'm giving thread group as one. If you give thread group as five, it'll execute for five threads, but right now it is one thread group. I'm just giving, I'm just clicking on execute now to see the result now. So to view the results, click on view results tree, click on the view results tree, then click on the request, we got it. Then we see here sampler result, we got this as the request, this is the request we sent, this is the response we got it. And this response is in a JSON format. You can just select here JSON format so that it will show the information in a JSON way. And if you look into the text, go back to text to see what is a sampler request, what is the request we sent it, what is the response we got it. If we change it to text, then only we can see sampler result, request response data. Suppose if you change to JSON, path tester, you can see the value, the response value in the JSON format. But go back to the text format, check what is the sampler result and focus here. In the sampler result, if you focus here, the size is, or the response code is 200. The response code is 200. When the response code is 200 means the result of the test case is passed, we send the request, we got the response back, and the response code is 200. Suppose if you'd like to put an assertion on the response code, what is the process? Let's see now. The process is very simple to put an assertion on the response code, very simple. Select the request, the request in the thread group, select the request in the thread group, right click on the request, click on add, select assertions, you select response assertion. This we can mention here as this assertion is for response code assertion. And you can see the response code is available on option select it and click on add. Just mention 200. This is the value you wanted to check, which is equals. It is not content, it's not matches. Just put equals and try to execute the request again. Let's clear the results. So these two icons will help us to clear the results. Let me click on these icons to clear the results. What we have executed previously, just click on execute button again. I'm just clicking on the execute button. When I say execute button, I'm talking about this one. This is the execute button where we're clicking on it right now to see the outcome. Let's see, click on it. Then we can see the results three. Yes, we got the response back. There is no Error. Suppose, for example, we are checking for 400 as a response code. So what is the response we get? Because we're expecting 400, but we get 200 as the response code and see what is the outcome now. Click on execute. See, the error is available here because when you click on it, the response code assertion is failed. We received 200, but we are comparing 400. The expected is not equal to actual the assertion is failed. Similarly, the request is also shown as failure. So if you'd like to put assertions, you can put the assertion accordingly and try to validate the exact result. And also not only that, let me try to put 200. We can even validate the contents of the, we can even validate the contents of the response as well. So let's take one example here. Uh, when you click on view results tree, when you click on the request and check the response data we got, the country name is Equator or the country name is uh, South Africa here or um, you can check any text. Suppose I check this text South Africa, I would like to test. Copy this South Africa. Now 
try to select the request again right click on the request click on add click on assertions try to add response assertion again but this time you have to select text response and you have to say contains click on add just provide this value here and try to execute the program this is response message assertion checking the response message whether it contains south africa or not save it clear the results for clearing the results what we do again for clearing the results we have to press with this one or this one anything is fine just click on it so it will clear the results click on it then again execute the request record the response see there is no error it means both the assertions are executed successfully similarly suppose for example this is a json but if you would like to test the json you wanted to check the json path at that specific path this value is available it means i go here i say json path tester and i can give the json path expression but how do we get this expression how do i write it if you would like to do this just copy this entire value here and go to your website there is a very good website which is json path online evaluator remove this sample request you paste it your mainly sample response you paste your sample response here and try to go up here and you can try to validate try to provide the path the path here is say here they are giving one example i just give her country let's do one thing because this is an array if you look into this this is an array this array contains different values this is an array how do we know this is an array because you see a square brackets so we will do the same thing square brackets of zero square brackets of zero we are referring to the first value stored in the array using an index zero dot country okay we got if here so we can check this so let's take this value copy this value and we can go to the jmeter we can even put this here and even we test it what we got we got equator so this is how you try to provide the path go to the website try all the options where you can fetch the value you can take this as a json path expression and right click on the request select add assertion just select a json assertion here this path exists and the value also you can validate it's not only you check the path you also validate the value at a specific path right and additionally is that the value then say this on for the session for country now again clear the results click on execute we can see the content available here so there is no error it means all the three sessions response code session response message session json session all are working as expected you can even do one more thing also just give some value here to validate whether this is working as expected or not just click on execute you definitely see an error because the this on the session is not working because the reason is but why we are not able to see because as i said already you have to change it to text format then you can see every information here the value expected to match is not working as expected so this is how you insert assertions in the case of jmeter but if you would like to get help in the case of assertions what is this response code assertion what is the json assertion if you would like to get the help in the case of jmeter it's very very simple select it just go to help click on help here you get directly navigate to that help section of the particular assertion right now we selected json assertion the help section directly navigates to json assertion here that way it's very easy we don't need to uh, go to a browser and find out what is the assertion because here you can easily uh, select it and try to click on help it will navigate to that specific uh, help section in the jmeter documentation so if you would like to so if you like my video please subscribe and share with your friends thanks for watching the video